Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk a lot about uh, yeah, bolt nuts, especially um, threads. I'm going to show you how you uh, overlap, for example, the uh, threads from the bolt and nuts and simulate them. So it's going to be looks really nice and that's going to be more applicable for the, uh, for example, lead screw, which I'm going to show you. And um, just a standard operation, how we can also add a um, your own for example size into the xml file of the uh, for of fusion 360s um, a threads uh, file or the thread tool which we have here uh, for example if i go to the not coil i'm going to the threads as you can see here all these threads they are just xml files which are placed over here and i'm going to show you uh, where you can find it and uh, how to play with it. So, uh, okay, without further ado, let's start. So, uh, the first example, I'm just gonna create like a, you know, a classic example, uh, where let's say we have something, um, we have some kind of a, say like a plate, and in this plate, I'm going to have a, um, I'm gonna need some screws, okay? So I'm gonna put a screw here, for example, and another screw here, and another here, and let's just say another one here. So it doesn't matter. Now I'm not gonna, as you can see, I'm just creating points. And I would rather use the points uh, on the plates here and then create the screws, because then I can, you know, dimension the position of the, of the hole where it's gonna be. So it's gonna be 10 by 10, I'll just say from here to here and from here to here. Good, so now I know the position. Now we're just going to uh, extrude this one. Click okay. I'm just gonna turn the sketch back on. And now we're going to create the screw. So we're going to create a new component and we're gonna use this face here and let's just say here for a second yes now so uh, again there are different ways how you can create it <clears throat> let's just keep it uh, simple but uh, let's just see here for a second if we can find the dots you can see it here it's very difficult to find it so i'm going to project it okay it's very easy you can also project the others if you want and uh, now when i'm doing this we're actually creating, uh, using it as a reference. Um, so now we can go in and just go and create. Um, actually, I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna create the, the, the head of the, uh, of the screw. So I'm gonna go to the uh, polygon. I'm gonna put it here. I just say I'm gonna create something a little bit bigger. And maybe seven. Good. Click OK. We're gonna to extrude this one out. Yeah, give it something like this. And now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you now what I'm gonna do to create the, the bolt uh, itself. I'm gonna use a cylinder uh, tool. This is oh, again another way how you can do it. Okay. And over here I'm gonna choose. Uh, yeah, maybe eight millimeters it's fine and i'm oh, sorry you see i hit the wrong uh, face i'm just gonna click cancel and i'm gonna turn this one off i'm gonna try again and in order to make sure we are in the center you can see here okay now i'm in the center i'm gonna say eight Boom. Now we can turn our plate back on and you can say, okay, I want it that long. Fine. Now, why I'm not creating the hole on the plate? In a moment, you're gonna see why. Um, so this stage, we can just, uh, you know, create, uh, put the thread on top of it. So it depends on this situation, if you wanna create threads inside um, the plate here you know you want it to screw through 
or I just want to create like a little bit, you know, uh, a hole in the plate with a little bit space for the threads. And on the other side, we're going to put the bolt. But um, in this case, you know what? I'm not going to create a bolt on the other side. We're just going to put the thread inside the plate. So how do we do this? Um, so now we can just go into the uh, threads, select this one, modeled, and let's just see if we like it. Yep, that's what we want. So we click OK. But we still don't have the hole inside the plate and we don't have also, of course, the, the thread. Now, I, the best way, the best technique, uh, the way I see it, it's the most also precise to create threads into the other side. If it's for the nuts or into the plate, it will be to use the combine. So we're going back to the uh, component <clears throat> and I'm going to use the combine. I'm going to choose first of all that our target body and this is going to be our tool body. And now instead of join, I'm going to use cut and keep tooling because I want to keep our uh, bolts. Okay. And then you're going to click. Okay. Now we're going to turn off the bolts and voila. Okay. So we got a precise, you know, bolt and also the bolts position where it's supposed to be. And these kind of bolts, they are going to be rigid. We're not going to simulate the way it's, you know, turning inside and outside. It doesn't make sense. So, but we also need to create some clearance. Okay. So what are we going to do? Um, the easiest way to cl create clearance and to see also exactly what are you doing is to create this I'm gonna cut it a little bit here and now I'm gonna use the uh, the uh, push pull um, command and by the way this technique I already showed in uh, some other uh, movies that I've created before we're going to select this face here this face this face basically all the faces okay and we change it to a new offset and we say okay i want zero point zero twenty five millimeters okay and then create okay so we can turn back the uh, screw and then we can see if the spacing if it's enough or maybe we need you can see here the space that I've created. If uh, I can see the difference now, I'm going back, no space, and forward. Now we have space, okay? Clearance. So if you want, you can just make it bigger. It's up to you. But now you can see. Now you're going to see something very interesting. What is going to happen if I just say, okay, I want this whole. You you went to the simulation environment and then you figure out that this uh, bolt here in the hole it's not strong enough and you want to make it bigger or maybe actually you can make it smaller you don't need something so big uh, it goes both ways only thing you're gonna need to do is go back to the uh, component of the, the our bolt and go and change you see here the cylinder go and change the, the thickness the diameter so we change it to seven millimeter for example click ok and voila you see now because we used uh, the bolt as a reference so everything i'm gonna do to the bolt it's gonna infect the the hole you know that we created into the plate or if it was also a nut okay so we get like two birds at once so we don't have to do anything and that also includes you see the clearance so you can create like a you can create for example some basic uh, you know default parameters you can say for example clearance it's going to be this kind of number and sizes and this way you can actually control everything from the uh, parameters uh, window here and you know we can see here we turn this off and if I'm going, for example, to change, let's say, make, let's make a drastic change. Okay. Let's just say four millimeters. Let's see what happened. If it changed, um, 
let's go to here yeah no it actually didn't change and it didn't change because because of the thread the thread it's on eight millimeter and so we need to change it to four millimeter and then it's going to be changed so it's either you're going to do it you know both um remember to choose to change both the diameter of the cylinder and then the thread or you let's show you another way um i'm just going back a little bit or so we can go let's just turn the root component here we can go back in time before we created the thread and everything we can double click here and on the cylinder and we change it to four click ok and then we move and see if it's work no it didn't work that's a shame but no matter what we can still you know go back and just remember to change this one as well okay I thought it will gonna change automatically but uh, unfortunately it didn't but it is going to change the effect the uh, the hole and the threads also on the plate or if it was a, a bolt so as you can see it's extremely extremely easy to create uh, it takes nothing here you go and you're always going to keep also the clearance at the same time uh, so if you're going to do it this way you saw it took me a few seconds to create it and uh, it's going to be much more fun to work uh, with fusion this way and also you know when you for example you need to create a cylinder you don't have to create a sketch that's why I, that's why i showed you that you can also use a cylinder tool to create this uh you know the cylinder for the for the bolt uh, you can also i'm going to use it also to create the lead screw okay uh, you don't always have to use it uh, to use sketches so we have this one in place now what if for example we have a thread but the um, we want to create a thread but we don't have the size it can happen um, so what you're going to do is it's quite simple first go online and i already for example did and i look for because i'm working with ESOs, so you know metric so i found this table here uh, which is great because it gives me all the information that that i need but also if you're using uh, acme or something like something like this there are many of those uh, tables out there and you can find them with all the information that you need <clears throat> and now we're just going to navigate to the thread data folder uh, i'm going to put a link where i found it okay and also show you exactly how you can edit it and everything it's quite simple it's pretty straightforward so you're going to look for for example let's just say isometric profile okay that's what i used so remember actually the first thing to do is to create a backup okay so i'm saying control c control v so now i have a copy it's very important because if you're going to screw up this one th that's it you're going to have to reinstall a uh, fusion so <clears throat> so now we can just you know open it sorry i'm going to open it with my uh, note plus plus notepad plus plus it's really nice one and as you can see here um, you can see the thread it starts from the size okay and you can also see it here it's also start with the size okay and it's the same workflow so we have the size we have the designation okay you can see this one here thread designation and simple uh, thread designation pitch class blah 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 here about the major diameter pitch diameter and minor diame diameter all these are just average here you can see the minimum and maximum so all you gotta do is just you know plus uh, put them together divide them by two then you get the uh, the average okay and that's the number that you're gonna put over here so it's not that complicated so also the pitch you also again you have everything here and remember the pitch because i'm going to talk about it very soon it's a uh, it's a it's a very important uh, information here so and this is how you're going to do it so if you want to add so you're going to start copying this one here you see from thread size and let's just see here yeah to the end of the set 
add a thread side. You can see oh, again, start a new one. There's a new thread side here. And then we're gonna copy it. And then, I don't know why it's not allowing me to edit here. For some reason. Ah, it's because that this file is only, it's, it's read only. Remember that. That's why. So we just need to, uh, you know, remove this one. I don't know how it works exactly with uh, with Mac, but I'm sure you're probably figure, gonna figure it out. So now I'm gonna be able to, oh, see? You can create like an extra space here. And now I can do all the changes that I want here and, you know, do, yeah. If, if there is a thread size that it's missing. You can see it sometimes, they don't have all the thread sides. Um, we can do maybe an experiment, but let's see. I have 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Yeah, I have basically, I think with this one, I have everything. But basically that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna click, you're gonna save it. Close uh, Fusion, reopen Fusion, and then it's gonna uh, show up uh, in the list. Also give it some kind of a name so you can recognize it, okay? Uh, you can also add a new list here, yeah? You can, for example, change. Instead of here, give it a different name, this one and this one, okay? And the file name, you can also you're gonna change the file name. And Fusion, what it's gonna do, it's gonna pick up all those XML files, and then it's gonna bring it over here. You're gonna find it here. So you can choose, make a folder, for example, the one we copied, you can change the name to my threads and then you can create your threads over there. So, so this is how we basically creating the, the threads. So we have the thread side, we have the designation as you saw, the class and, and so on. Um, yeah, in the designation, as you can see here, um, you can see max, you see the MA, M4, sorry, and 04, because this is the model, the type, and then it's 0 0.7. This is the uh, pitch that you we're gonna need later, okay? Uh, so remember that. So this is how we are doing just the typical threads on uh, any kind of component that you need to, uh, gonna need to use it on. And uh, I think it's time to move on to the next example. Uh, I'm going to create a new sketch, <clears throat> start a new component. Now I'm going to start, uh, for example, a new uh, cylinder here over here. I'm going to choose, let's just say, uh, 40. It sounds fine. Unfortunately, right now I can, you know, create push only one side. I cannot push both sides. It's quite annoying. So, uh, I just say I'm gonna do 100 into this side, and then I'm gonna use the press pull to create 100 to this side. Good. So now let's just make it so it's gonna look like um, like a real um, lead screw. I'm gonna create something here. I'm gonna push it a little bit out, and at the top there's gonna be some kind of a, you know, like a sphere here. And that's gonna be connected. Sorry, I'm gonna do join. Okay, and that's gonna be connected some kind of a plate. And here there's gonna be kind of a screw, which is gonna be, gonna sit still. And the lead screw, it's gonna move back and forth, back and forth, okay? So, uh, let's just make a fillet here. Small one. Okay, that looks nice. Good. So let's go and create now the uh, the right thread. I want a uh, trapezoidal thread. These are the big ones. Uh, I don't know why the rest suddenly disappeared. It's kind of odd. Let's see if I'm gonna click okay. Oh, okay, fine. So it's back on. So this is going to be the trapezoidal thread. And now I'm going to create another component. And that's going to be the, again, remember, create the parts in place. It's very important. 
So I'm going to let's just say create an offset plan because I want to position. So I want to position it over here, the beginning. You know what? You don't have to position the beginning. You can just start here. And uh, so I'm going to start the sketch here. <clears throat> Again, I don't have to. I can show you actually that I don't have to. <laughs> we can create again a new uh, cylinder here. It's going to be, okay, it's going to be this thick. And the width, it's going to be something like this. You know what? 48. Good. So now we are going to create the thread inside, the same technique uh, as we did uh, before. Uh, this is our target. This is our tool body and we're going to keep it and click OK. Again, turn this off and you can see the, uh, the threads are really nice. And as before, I'm going to create a, uh, so I'm going to make a section view here and I just turn this one on. Good. So that's right in the middle. You can turn this one back off. And I want to create uh, again uh, some clearance. Uh, let's go to the push pull. And we need to select everything here. All the faces. It's going to be, I don't know, minus 0 0.2. That's okay. Let's see how it looks. That looks fine. Good. So far, so good. Now I want to animate this. So which part is going to be fixed, uh, grounded? It's going to be this one. It's going to be this, uh, this knot. So uh, the knots, we're going to right click. We're going to ground it. And now I uh, just going to go to S build joint. It's very easy because it's already in place. And I'm going to select, you know, uh, we're going to have this component and then we're going to select this one. And Let's just say it's going to be cylindrical. Yep. And we need to, we can just turn this one, the analysis off for a second. And we need it in the middle somewhere. So I'm going to hit the uh, control so I can attach it, attach it. And it's moving in the right direction as I want it. Good. So how this, this is how it looks so far and this is how it moves so far. So good. But now I want, you know, both, if you checking it here, I wanted to screwed, you know, and it's going to overlap the both uh, screws. So we're going to use the, uh, um, first I want to limit also the distance that it's going to, uh, to move. I don't want it to move all the way, you know, in the end of days so i'm gonna go to the slide here minimum maximum and this is gonna be our minimum uh, sorry yeah this is gonna be the minimum and the maximum it's gonna be yeah that's that's fine let's just say minus 120 okay round numbers oh sorry i forgot something here a slide we have the, just say the minimum, it's going to be zero. And this is going to be minus 120. No, so it's supposed to be the opposite. Here it's one and here it's going to be zero. Yeah. Good. Um, fine, let's just test it. Uh-huh. Why are we not moving? Okay, that's why we're here. Good. Um, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to the uh, motion link. And when we're choosing motion link here, you can say, okay, we have only one joint. Usually we're using two joints, no, but we actually have two joints because here, we decide that we can allow this component to rotate, to revolute and to slide. OK, so it's basically two components. And you see here, it asks you linked with the same joint. Yes. And here you go. 
and then you click OK. So, so when now when we're gonna move it, you're gonna see here. It fits uh, actually really really nice. But in some cases, you're gonna see it's not gonna fit nice. What you need to do is go back to the uh, thread and look for the, you see the information, the designation, it's 10. So here in this case, I was lucky. Uh, so it actually used 10 in the, um, in the motion links information here. See here, the distance is 10. And this is basically the pitch diameter, okay? And that pitch, if it wasn't exist, and you wanted to know how do I found the, the, this pitch, uh, and the pitch basically saying, run re one revolute three, when it turns three, uh, 360 degree, how much it's going to move forward or backwards. That's basically the pitch. So if we want to find it, the, one the easiest way actually I think to find it is you're going to uh, let's just say we're going to want to find the pitch of this one and let's turn off the analysis and we are going to create a new sketch just somewhere here for example on, on this uh, face continue then we're going to slice now the pitch is basically any point here the distance between any point here to any point here in this side. So in order to get the points, there are two ways. One way you can go and just create, you know, project this point, but actually the best way to, to do it is by using intersect projection. Okay, because we cut this one to, we slice this one to a half and click okay. And now if we go to choose the measurement tool, you're going to choose, okay, what's the distance between here and here and voila, it's 10. Okay. It would have been the same if, for example, I made a line, for example, I don't know, a line from here to here. Yes. And I'm going to look for the intersection point from here. For example, if I'm going to project again, intersect projection, I have it here. And I'm going to project, see, project it everywhere. So I can say, I want to know this point here. Let's just see if I can hit it somehow. I cannot, but if I'm going to use, say, if I'm going to trim it, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to trim it from here to here. So basically I can just, you know, measure uh, with the distance here. See, it's 10. So it doesn't matter where you're going to be, obviously, it's going to be going to give you the right pitch diameter. Okay. So this is how you find out. This is two technique. Either you're going to uh, uh, project those points here. And if it's a round one, you, it's going to find you, it will going to, um, uh, it, it, it will going to project a, a, a point. It doesn't matter where, because you're going to, uh, because it's it, the most important that it's going to need to be also in the other side. Okay and uh, and that's going to be your pitch so i hope you understand it's pretty simple uh, simple to understand so now i'm going just going to go back <clears throat> and you can see that if you're if you are if we are turning this one another one good so uh just gonna do a vert so if i'm turning this one you can see here it's it's gonna follow the um they're going to be really overlapping each other really, really nicely. Okay. Another way also to simulate it also it's by, um, if we are going to click on this one and you're going to say animate joint, it's not working this one. So animate the model. It should work. Well, I'm not sure why not. It's not working today. Just we're gonna turn this one again off. Let's do it from here. Animate model. Nada. And let's say animate joint. 
Nada. Nice. Good work. Uh, I'm just gonna drive this one. Let's just see here. Voila. But it should have worked. I don't know why it doesn't work. Maybe it's some kind of a bug or something. But it should work. Okay. And I can show it also from here. Oh, you can see it's overlapping really, really nice, nicely. So, so this is how you do it. So remember, if you don't get when after you're creating the motion link, and you don't get the distance here, the distance basically means the pitch. If you don't get the right one, then find it. Either you find it inside you know the uh, thread uh, feature here it's going to tell you the second number here it's 10 or it's going to be something else so you see it can be also seven it can be also three it depends on the uh, the thread that you chose or you're going to use the technique that i just showed you how to find the pitch diameter and it's working on any kind of threads it could also work over here you know, I can show you basically. It's very, very simple. I just say I'm going to turn this one off. And so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create a new sketch. Uh, let's find a new region here. I'm going to find on this one region. And I'm going to slice it. Ah, okay. It's because it's not the... Uh, sorry, it's not its origin. So I'm going to look for... Uh, his own origin and um, let me think here for a second because we need to cut it into a half so what we could do for example in this situation we could go and create some kind of uh, axis here okay in the middle and then I can create a plan uh, let's give it 90 degrees. I've used this uh, planet angle. Click OK. And then we're going to create our sketch here. We're going to slice it. And as before, I'm going to go to sketch, uh, project, intersect. And I'm going to project this point here. OK. Go to the measurement from here to here. It's going to be 0 0.70. OK. Uh, so now we can just go back, redo everything that we did. And if we want to animate this one inside, for example, uh, it's kind of asking me, it's kind of crazy. No reason to do that, but let's just say you really want to do it. So we're going to uh, click on the s build joint, choose this one and the second one. Oh, yeah. This one and this one. Come on, it's a little bit slow today. Hallelujah. And then we need the uh, position. And uh, need to give it some kind of a middle position. This is fine. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to the uh, motion link. And we're going to choose this one here. See here, for example, give me the distance 10. And it's not good. It's not what, uh, it's not what I want. And I can show you. Uh, if we're going to the inspect, we cut it here in the middle. That's good. Oh, ah, okay. We already have one. So if I'm going to turn this one, you can see here, it's not overlapping. You can see it's not overlapping as I want it. So what we are going to do, uh, we're going to the motion link edit feature and it was 0 0.7 click OK and now you can see here how it works you can see now it's they're really overlapping each other really really nicely okay here you go let's see if I can animate this one now uh, Animate model. Yeah, here we go. See? It's really nice overlapping. So, 
I think it. My, I think it's that's it for today. Uh, I don't think I have more to add. I cover actually quite a lot in regards to uh, to the threads and how you create, and how you can create the screws, different kind of techniques, and how you create the uh, threads on the other side, uh, on the nuts, or uh, sorry, on the yeah, on the nuts or uh, yeah, or anywhere else you want to create a threads or uh, sometimes you can uh, maybe it's going to be easier for example to if you don't want to screw you just want to create i don't know why uh the, the uh, threads you know a hole with threads on some kind of a part so um you can just create a nut and then just hide it afterwards you know like this so uh, and this way you can you know just have this hole here and uh, it's going to be a kind of a representation um yeah i don't know for some reason so this is one technique instead of for example creating if uh, if you're trying to create an inside thread and it doesn't work well so you can use this technique okay um yeah so uh i don't i don't know if, if you have any questions regarding this or regarding to how to edit uh, this file here it's pretty straightforward as i showed you you have the same information here online you just copy a new line you saw the whole line it starts from the thread size to the other to the other, to the end here copy paste it in a new and uh, yeah change all the data that you that you need and test it and uh, again do yourself a favor don't use the original file remember to create a backup to create a copy or oh, either you're gonna create a backup and then use the original or uh, create a copy from the original and give it a complete new names and, and so on. So, uh, yeah, so this is gonna be for today. I hope I um, helped you in any way in regards if you had any question, how to create the threads and how to, uh, yeah, create also the joints and how to make the joints, you know, did the threads overlap each other and animate it it's very practical and it's very important especially when creating some kind of a lead screw it's very 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 important uh, it's going to help you to, to figure out the spacing between the threads the size of the threads um, because if you're going to need some specific uh, amount of turns in order to get from x place to y place so this is going to be a really good play, uh, a way to analyze it. And uh, so it's very important that the, the threads are overlapping each other. It's going to give you much more precise information. So now you know what's the pitch diameter. It's the distance of when you're turning uh, the thread 360 degrees, how long it's going to travel to the left or to the right or up or down. <laughs> Depends how you um, position uh, your threads. So um, yeah, good luck with your project and let me know if you have any questions and I'm going to add the link to the um, to where how to find the, the XML file and I'll see you in the next video. So bye bye.